Hey everyone, today is another video update for Treasure Reef and we are gonna go over some of the changes that have happened to the tank over the past few weeks. So first and foremost, um, as you may notice, I've introduced two new fish in here. So there is uh, this uh, sailfin tank uh, right in here that is being harassed by my yellow tank. So we'll get a closer look of him in a second. Uh, and there's a copper band. So what I've got here right now is some two cubes of uh, frozen food. Uh, there is um, uh, brine shrimp and also mice shrimp. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna feed uh, both uh, of the fish. Oh, see, something is happening here. So right now they're not eating. So the sailfin has been eating a lot, but the copper band has not been eating as much. Has not been eating as much. So you can see the yellow tank is going after the sailfin. Um, this is the second time I'm introducing the copper band into the tank. I had to catch him. Ooh, look at what's going on here, eh? So uh, this is the second time I had to introduce the copper band into the tank. Um, the first time when I did it, uh, this was just a day after I got it and he was not eating anything at all. And obviously that was a problem. So what um, I had to do is I had to catch him and put him in the sump. And for anybody who's got a copper band and uh, it's not eating, uh, for me, what happened, uh, what, what helped a lot was putting him in a sump where there's no other fish. And as a matter of fact, he started eating on a third day. So I actually have another copper band in my sump right now. And I'm um, going to monitor this guy if he starts to um, not compete for, for food. I'm probably gonna catch him again and put him in the sump for uh, the foreseeable future. Now, the sailfin, that's a whole other game. So this is um, the uh, Desjardins uh, sailfin, so the Red Sea one. Um, I had to uh, catch the other sailfin and put him into the proverbial sump. So we'll take a look at it in a second and introduce this guy so i do like the coloration on him a lot more although the other one as a matter of fact has grown on me significantly so basically it was a tough choice i don't think i am ready to part with him so i'm toying with quite a few ideas of what i can do for uh, uh, my um, other sailfin so if you have some ideas let me know in the comments below but meanwhile, look at look at what's going on here. It's funny, uh, the yellow is out, but my uh, blonde Nasso is uh, nowhere to be found. Although usually he's the one that's always out and about. So I think he's just either going to sleep soon or he's just uh, plain scared. So that's the two big changes for the fish. You can see corals are really going all out so rainbow loom right over there um i got the pink cadillac right here uh quite a few other very nice acros tricolor uh mountain dew um, and funny enough even the um few core ones that we're not doing as well are now really starting to uh perk up and here's the blonde nasso right around here so really one of my favorite fish so the tank is doing really well um, i'm uh, finally plugged in the uh, ecotech uh, versa so really really like the um, dosing uh, system i'm using it for auto water changes and i have a lot to talk about so i'll be doing that video shortly so let's uh, take another look at the tank from this angle before we are gonna go um, downstairs and take a look at what's going on in the sump. 
So another money shot right here, definitely. Um, uh, just, I never get tired of looking at uh, the tank from this angle as well. So when I'm having my morning coffee, I can sit in a chair nearby and just enjoy all the fish. So really uh, digging it. The, uh, this cleaner wrasse, look at, I've never seen a fatter wrasse uh, personally. So he's doing really well. I've uh, fragged some Montes right over here. And uh, all of this, by the way, is available on treasurecorals.com. But speaking of corals, and you can see I'm now starting to frag. So let's take a look at what's going on downstairs. And this is the uh, big modification that I've made to the water box stock um, sump. So you can take a look at a few big changes. So first of all, I'll turn on the light, which usually should pop come on just by waving this. So I'll remove the uh, filter. So once again, shout out to Polyplab and uh, amazing, amazing um, version two lens. So I really like it. Definitely um, and quite an upgrade from the first generation. So you can see I've got uh, quite a few modifications here. So two chambers, I'm just using, I don't use filter socks, but I use um, some sort of a um, floss just to catch some detritus. Um, I've hung the um, Hydra 64 HD here. So basically it matches what I have over at the top. And I've actually made another big modification to this area here. So before I've had it uh, um, standing on, um, on the legs, but now I've actually glued it, the whole rack to this uh, mag, uh, not for mag float, it's uh, algae uh, float. So one of their uh, hammerheads, um, so really nice. Uh, cleaning uh, magnet and so far this gives me an ability to move things, this thing around so I like it a lot here's uh, another copper band right here so I've had one in this section and I've had the other one in this section over here and they were actually doing quite well and for the tank police there is actually a uh, other uh, tank right here oh this is where i think i need to do something right away because my hold on a second the sump just turned on uh, my skimmer so i gotta turn off the skimmer because you can see it's over floating so i have to keep an eye on it yikes huh all right well uh something for me to do after i shoot the video so just to wrap up, uh, copper band uh, is doing well. I got the sail fin in here. Uh, I've already fragged quite a few corals, but I'm going to be fragging a lot more over the next uh, little while. So if you're interested, just go to treasurecorals.com to see what there is. I'm also doing some coral photography here. So basically you can basically see exactly what I have and what you see is what you get. I've got some nice uh, rainbow looms here, some nice uh, pink caddies and a lot more coral. And I'm gonna keep playing with this as I really enjoy it. And I think that it's also really uh, beneficial for the tank health to have a sump section with some more corals because I'm running this light um, with staggered uh, light schedule. So basically this light comes on several hours after the main tank and it will run into the midnight and past it. So again, I'm having a little bit higher um, pH uh, due to photosynthesis and just overall, uh, I think the corals are doing much better because of that. So that's the big update for the tank. You can actually see it as a uh, 
uh, it, things are really starting to ramp down in the evening. And with that said, thank you for watching and uh, happy reefing.